All right, Julia Child was an unlikely TV star back in the 60s, but she certainly changed the way that the world cooked. She really did. Now a new documentary from CNN Films and award-winning producer Betsy West takes a look at the iconic TV chef and her incredible life. I'm Julia Child. Julia Child is a kind of surprising revolutionary. I'm Julia Child. Welcome to the French Chef. TV in the 60s was not used to seeing anyone quite like Julia. When Julia Child went on television, it was kind of a shock to the system. Nobody had seen anyone like this six foot two tall, pretty loud uh, woman telling people what to do. That was just not done in the 1960s. And uh, she opened up a whole world for women on television. Julia Child presents the Chicken Sisters. Local restaurant owner Bob Burke became friends with the late chef. Julia was the most incredible, generous, helping, instructing, uh, nurturing person you could ever imagine, Well, I mean, sense of humor, love to drink. If you were making a souffle and it didn't rise, Julia would have said, Oh, don't worry, dear. It will come up more next time, thinking to herself, because it couldn't come up any less. But she kept you in the game. She kept encouraging people. Mm, I think I love you. The restaurant holds a rare photo of the great chef. It's the only place you can ever see the picture. It's Julia Child with a crepe on her forearm. We did her book signing, and she did a crepe demonstration. We are making crepes, and she flipped it in the air, and it lands right on her forearm. And of course, Julia doesn't make a fuss. She just goes, oh, and threw it right back in the pan and kept going. Fortunately, a photographer of the Providence Journal caught it at that split second. Well, that didn't go very well. In the 60s, food choices were less than great. In the 1960s, the food we were eating in most Rhode Island homes was not as good, I think, <laughs> as it is right now. Right. And I think as a result of Julia Child opening up people's minds to the possibilities of food. And then, of course, we have a great culinary school mm -hmm. here in Rhode Island, which has just changed the landscape. Julia changed it all. Here she was, a very conventional, upper middle class woman who fell in love with food mm -hmm. when she was in France and devoted herself to uh, writing the best French cookbook in America and then became a superstar and changed the way we eat, changed everything about how, how we think about food. Julia not only revolutionized cooking, she was on the media revolution, and she was also a revolutionary in the women's movement. West also produced RBG about the late Supreme Court Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg. I just love the stories of these women overcoming expectations and pushing through, finding a passion in Ruth Ginsburg's case. Her passion was the law. In Julia Child's case, the passion was food. And they use that passion to make a better world for the rest of us. I, I, I love finding those stories, telling them. This is Julia Child. Bon appétit. Yes, bon appetit. <laughs> There's um, you, the impression. You, you know, um, the, uh, Betsy actually grew up here in, in Rhode Island, so a lot of people knew her even at, at the screening. And Bob told me a funny story that he loved Julia for, for all of his life. Bob and his wife traveled, went to Paris years ago, and while he's in Paris, he gets a phone call and says, uh, you're not going to believe who's in the restaurant. Uh, Julia Child is here. He's like, are you kidding me? Unbelievable. Yeah, and race, they tried to race back, but missed her, and she invited him to the house. She's so iconic, and she really changed the world. Yeah, she really did. Now, Julia is out in select theaters and will be playing on CNN.